What's up guys, it's Johnny Chang. I'm here with Cinemills TV. And you guys know what's up, we're breaking bread. We're in my neighborhood, Rosemead, San Gabriel Valley. Uh, we're eating here, eating good food and breaking bread. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. Signing out. So this is um, traditional Taiwanese food. Taiwanese people, shout out to them. They, they know how to cook, bro. So um, they do have a lot of spicy options, um, but I mean, I would go with the Xiaolong Bao. Like a lot of people know that. There's the beef roll that everyone knows, the dumplings, pot stickers, um, some wonton, spicy wontons, and dan dan mian. Dan dan mian is like super legit. Yeah, can I order in Mandarin? We're going to get one Okay. So you want the beef noodle soup? Yeah, beef noodle soup. Okay. Spicy or not spicy? Yeah. <laughs> okay, spicy. Okay, that no, one's good. Yeah. And then can we get um? Goatie. Goatie, yeah. Like a goatee. Like two goatee. Two goatee. Yeah, but this one is different. Oh, can you? Can you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you guys want any? Oh, you wanted the spicy beef with no no noodle no noodles, right? We're going to get like a that one. No, the new one. Yeah, new one because it's Johnny, you like those beef rolls? I love those yeah. beef rolls. Want to get it? You want to order some of those? Uh, yeah, we'll get. We'll get two. Two. Yeah, let's hook up those beef rolls. Those are good. Thank you. Thank you. For me, I like Sandong Chinese. It's kind of like Northern Chinese. Um, they're real big on noodles as well. I'm actually Sandong, so I like, you know, I'm not to be biased, but I grew up on like um, black bean noodles, uh, grew up on um, spicy beef noodle soup, things like that. So yeah, and our dumplings are, are, are different than Taiwanese dumplings. Johnny, walk us through what we got here. I know, I know you got the beef rolls, right? Yeah. So we got two beef rolls here. Uh, we got the pan-fried um, bows, right? Pan-fried buns. We got the pot stickers, dumplings. We got the xiaolong bao. Uh, xiaolong bao is basically like soup, soup dumplings. When you bite into it, it kind of explodes and, and all the soup comes out. It's super wholesome, super hearty, super good. So yeah, and we got ginger, we got vinegar to kind of dip it and kind of offset the flavors. And uh, yeah, it's really good. Beautiful, man. Before we eat, lead us in prayer, John. Absolutely. Dear Heavenly Father, truly we're thankful that you brought all of the brothers together. Um, we're thankful for the food. Please allow it to bless our bodies and nourish our bodies. And we leave everything in your hands, Lord. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now we just celebrated New Year. And I know in Chinese culture, we're approaching the year of the rabbit, right? Absolutely. Do you follow the Chinese zodiac or is that, I mean, conflict with Christianity a little bit or? For me, yeah, I don't, I don't really follow it. I know like certain signs can't go with certain signs, but for me, it's just like, I don't really follow that. I'm the year of the snake though. Brother's a dragon. I got family with tigers and stuff like that. So yeah, I yeah. mean, but I don't follow it. You know? It's interesting because I once asked a Christian about what their sign was, and they said, We're, I'm the sign of Jesus, you know? And, and I thought that was interesting because it's uh, just a different methodology, right? Right, absolutely. Yeah, it is completely different. It's completely different. 
but some of the Chinese Zodiac is fairly accurate when it comes to um, like our intensities, the, the water sign, stuff like that. So yeah, it's pretty pretty accurate in, in my eyes. You know? No, I believe in it, man, to an extent. What month you're born, what where the stars were, were at the time of your birth. Because if the moon can affect tides, then you have to give it some kind of relevance, you know what I mean? But the broth on this is awesome, man. And these dumplings, I could tell they make these here, right? These are not frozen. These are, these are handmade here. Absolutely. So the way you're supposed to eat these is you grab it, put it here, and then you kind of like, when you bite into it, the soup kind of falls into it, right? Some people put vinegar on it and stuff like that. Oops. Yeah, just a little bit. And you kind of like bon appetit. So Johnny, that was excellent, man. That was the best food we've ever had. Thank you for bringing us to this location, man. Man, this is great. So what do you typically do for, like what is a Chinese dessert? Like, uh, Personally, like I like boba. You like boba? Yeah, yeah. and that's Taiwanese too, but I, I love boba. Chinese people have boba too. But yeah, I shoot over to like, um, I might go to like half and half tea house. Um, there's a lot of good spots out here, but I usually get the taro milk tea. Taro milk tea, yeah. I'll look out for it's them. It's a purple drink, you can't miss it. Super bomb. Yeah. I like the little hole in the walls because they just, they put their foot in it, right? Like yeah. they actually make really good boba. So you really support local businesses, I've noticed that. 100%. Mom and pop, yeah. try to stay away from big corporate stuff. Yeah, I yeah. would say. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate yeah. that one, yeah. man. You know, it's funny, we were talking about social media, TikTok, and lately what's been trending is that uh, China has two versions of TikTok, one for them and then one for the West. Yes. Why do you think that is and, and do you agree with that move, man? I actually think that the Chinese are pretty smart, you know, they realize that um, social media, we become slaves to it and it kind of messes up with your psyche, it messes you up inside out, you know, so um, they limit, I heard they limit the time that their, their people can watch it and stuff like that, so I actually think that's really smart. But if you try to do that in, in the US, I think a lot of kids would like melt and just go crazy, you yeah. know what I mean? So, but it is something that I actually agree with. I agree yeah. with that. But you know, some of the content, it, you know, especially for the little kids, man, is over sexualized. It's, 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 it's outrageous, man. How, yeah, we, you know, we live in such a cold and dying world. It seems like the only answer is to, is to really put our faith in God, right? Yeah, 100%. You know, it's really, I talk about connection. You know, what you're connected to. So say like there's this this knife, you know. Um, let's say if the knife is connected to a robber or a murderer, well that knife will kill people. But if it's connect that same knife, if it's connected to a surgeon or a doctor, it'll save people. It's just we're just a tool, and it's whoever we're connected to. That's interesting. So yeah, man. if you're with negative things, you're gonna do negative things. You know, if we're with positivity, you can only produce positivity. And that's what I believe. In. That's right, Johnny. You know, I think that um, it's time for uh, people like yourself that have been through the darkness to show us the light man you're the only guys that can do it you know we were talking about how you see a lot of drug counselors that are usually former addicts or you know and and it seems like if you haven't done it and gone dark how can you really take someone to the right path absolutely absolutely it says it in the bible where sin abounds grace abounds more so you have to be in sin in order to understand what grace is you know what i mean so i agree with that 100 percent Oh, man, Johnny, thank you so much for this treat, bro. We really appreciate you, bro. Absolutely, no problem. Signing off with Johnny Chang, guys. Thank you, Johnny.